how I met my husband. We started dating in 2019. He, this is really cliche, but he DM'd me. And then we started talking over DM for a little bit, but he wasn't that good at responding. Then he asked for my number and we started texting. He was the worst texter ever. So every time we text, he would take two or three days to respond. And at some point I was over it, so I didn't really want to text anymore. Then one day he was like, hey, I'm going camping with my friends for a couple days. I won't have any service but I would love to hop on a phone call when I'm back because I feel like we're not connecting over text. So then I'm like, okay, great. Just give me a call when you're back. And he texted me when he was back. So that night I was like, let me just call him. Also, we had a pretty big time difference because he lived in LA and I lived in Germany. I give him a call, he picks up and we were on the phone for seven hours straight. I did not sleep that night because it was nighttime for me, daytime for him. And it was the best phone call I've ever had. We would be on phone calls every night for multiple hours. So then one day I get a call from my agent telling me that I'm on option to walk a show in Milan. And my gut feeling was just telling me that I already booked it. So on the phone call, I just said to Lucky, hey, I'm going to be in Milan next week, so I might not, you know, be quick to text back or whatever. And then he was like, wait, I'm going to Milan too. What are you doing? And mind you, we hadn't met in person yet, but we'd been talking for almost a month straight now. So then he tells me that he's going to attend the show that I'm supposed to be walking in. I fly to Milan, I have, I'm just, my stomach feels queasy. I just feel so nervous. And he texts me to come by his hotel to just chat before I have to go to this fitting for the show. So then I go, I'm just pacing the hallway outside of his hotel room for 20 minutes straight, just being so nervous. And then he opens the door. We were both sweating, so nervous, didn't know what to do. Um, but then after that, we just, it felt so comfortable. So then after the fitting for the show, it took a lot longer than I thought. I was there for like five or six hours. Lucky texts me and says, hey, are you hungry? Do you wanna grab dinner? Obviously I hadn't eaten in hours. So I was like, yeah, sure, let's do it. So we go to this cute little Italian restaurant eating pizza. It was really romantic. That day he asked me to be his girlfriend. So then after this Milan trip, I fly back home to Germany. And then I knew that he was going to Paris after for a couple of shows and stayed with him for the time he was out there because I knew he was going to go back to LA after. After we spend time in Paris, I knew I was going to Australia for three months. So I tell him and he's like, yeah, I'm going to come out and visit you. While I was in Australia, it kind of seemed like he wasn't going to get a flight out because of all the work he was doing and having a daughter, obviously. But then he came to visit me in Australia and stayed for a week. And while he was out in Australia, we went ring shopping just for fun. He had to fly back to LA. So then my stay in Australia came to an end and it was November. And Lucky was coming to Germany to spend Christmas with me and my family and meeting them for the first time as well. So then he comes out, stays for a few days. And then we were both heading back to LA to spend some time together. Then we land in LA, I meet his parents a few days later. And then three days after I landed, he was like, let's go to the beach and just spend the day there with my family and everyone. And I was like, sure, let's do it. Little did I know that he was gonna propose to me that day. And we were like, let's just get married. So it was February, six months after we started dating and we just rented out this house by the beach and got married with our families. My family, my siblings didn't come out, but my parents did. It was literally a month before COVID hit. So I'm so glad that they could make it out to our wedding. And then nine months later, we had our daughter. And then here we are three years later, having two babies and gravity's going to school. And we're about to celebrate our third wedding anniversary. I need to 
to find, yeah, to find mango ice cream. For some reason, it was sold out in all three. Okay, we're gonna do the strawberry flavor. Do you wanna share? Mm -hmm. So you open it. Mm -hmm. And then okay. in the middle, I'll just do this. Uh, I don't know how More. much. I don't know, okay. to be honest. I might have made a mistake, but this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Oh, let's do this. You tuck it in like this. Okay. Here you go. You can try it. I can try it? Yeah. Isn't it's, that crazy? It goes hard that fast. Yeah, try it. Oh. <laughs> it's actually real good, huh? I had it for the first time yesterday and I could not stop eating it. I went through the whole package. My teeth are just sensitive. <laughs> wow. I didn't try it with the mango. Wow. Mm. That's real nice. And crunch. Isn't that so cool? Mm -hmm. Approved. <laughs> After an uncomfortable, sleepless 11-hour flight from Germany to LA, I made it. I met up with Lucky because we're going to Coachella. It's actually my first time going. Lucky's actually played Coachella before, so he knows what it's like, but I do not know. So I'm so excited to experience everything for the first time. But before we head to Palm Springs, there was a few things that we had to do before. So we got ready really quick. Also, side note, I feel like hotel counter spaces get so dirty so quick. I wanted to show you guys our outfits. We tried to match. Didn't quite work, but it kind of did now looking back on it. The first stop we had to do today was pick up some clothes at Cold Geyer. Geyer? Gaia? <laughs> their store is so beautiful. I was really excited to see all of their options and I actually found some items that I really, really liked. So I'm so excited to show you guys. After that, I was starving. So we stopped by this um, little cafe that I heard a lot of things about. This was the most LA place <laughs> I've ever seen. If you know, you know. I had this vegan gluten-free cinnamon roll. It wasn't great, but it kind of hit the spot. And then, yes, obviously, my uterus started shedding right before the festival, which was great. But we stopped by our agency to get all of our packages and then headed to the beauty supply store. Lucky actually did an amazing job matching my hair color to the extensions properly. And then while I was getting my hair braided, Lucky was just running a few other errands that needed to be done. After the long day we had, we got hungry. So before we started to drive we stopped by in and out and got some food and then we made it to palm springs our hotel room was so cute and i could not wait to get the next day started i am on to see my husband i'm happy i'm happy to see my husband i'm happy i'm happy i'm out of i'm out of i'm out of i'm out of town thugging with my round my coochie king my booty hole brown I cannot believe that we're back to these morning routines. Hi guys, we're back. After three months in Europe, we're back in America and oh my gosh, it feels so good being back in my own bed, making my morning cup of tea. So this morning, that's exactly what I did. Brought Lucky his one and then opened up the curtains, obviously made my bed, had to get my day started right. I'm still really jet lagged, so I'm not really getting up as early as I want to, but I'm just kind of rolling with it. I don't, I'm not going to stress about it. I've also started incorporating new skincare products and my skin feels so good. Then Lucky asked me to stand on his back because he slept wrong. Does that even help? I have no clue because he said it did, but I can't imagine that that would help. Then the babies woke up and... It's my favorite. It's my favorite seeing them first thing in the morning when they're all sleepy and cute and don't really know what's going on just yet. They've learned and picked up so many things while I was in Germany with them. 
They can speak some German now and they're just a lot more mature and independent. Then it was time to do my makeup. It always makes me feel put more put together. My concealers are too light for me now because I got a lot more tan while I was there. So I definitely have to go out and buy new shades. I've just been putting it off because I don't want to be wasting concealer. We made some pancakes this morning, something just quick and easy, honestly. I have gotten really good at making them. Anyone that has been watching my videos knows that I usually burn them. But this time around, they weren't burnt. They were golden brown, just how they're supposed to be. And I'm really proud of myself. Then it was time to make Lucky some breakfast. I just made him his classic signature breakfast bagel that he enjoys with three types of meat and some hot sauce. He ended up having three of those, so... I just kept cutting cheese up. Then I unloaded the dishwasher and got the babies dressed. Getting toddlers dressed is such a sport and they hate getting dressed. I don't know what it is. I tried to work out, which I had to stop halfway through because it just was not working, even with distractions. While Lucky had a meeting, <laughs> I was just bugging him. Then it was time for second breakfast and steaming my outfit. Lucky was so kind to do that for me. And then it was time to head off and do our activity of the day. I try to get out of the house first thing because it's so hot in Texas, but yeah. Here's everything my husband eats in a day slash what I cook him in a day. I love cooking for people that I care about. It's just my love language. So this is not something that's expected of me. This is just something I enjoy doing. But anyways, let's start off with breakfast. I make him a bagel sandwich. So it's white cheddar, salami, prosciutto, and then I pickled some onions the other day. So he has that on an everything bagel. And then obviously he has to have hot sauce. He's very specific with how he likes his bagels, so I've kind of adapted it to what he likes. The kids also love these. They always come to steal bites. He has about four of those, and then I make him a cup of tea. It's usually rooibos tea with milk and sugar. Then it was about 11, so he had a little snack with pickles and tahine. These are the best pickles. I get them at Whole Foods. Please go try them. You'll not be disappointed. Then it was lunchtime, so I made some spicy vodka pasta with some lemon garlic broccolini we're not a big snack household so we usually don't have any snacks we just have three big meals sometimes if we get super hungry and have breakfast really early in the morning we do tend to have a little snack before lunch but that doesn't really happen a lot I learned that you have to salt your pasta water when it's come to boil so that it doesn't take forever to get really hot but here's just me mixing up the pasta. This was so good. I ended up having a little plate of it as well. And sometimes Lucky has some work to do, so I just brought it to him in the room. And obviously, I have to try his food before he has it to check for poison. I'm just kidding. I just love eating food off of other people's plates. It tastes so much better to me. But he enjoyed it. He had two plates of that and then... Around five or six, I usually make dinner. So today I made some potatoes. I roasted those in the oven and made a quick little side salad with just some lettuce we had over, carrots, cucumber, some goat cheese, and pickled onions. And then I seared my steaks. I'm not the best at making steaks, I have to be really honest. So they were a little overdone, but still good nevertheless. And then I dressed the salad and I made a little parsley garlic butter for the potatoes. This is everything my husband ate in a day slash what I cooked him. I love taking care of people by making them food. That's just my love language. This is not something that's expected of me. This is something I just love doing. So I started off by making Lucky some breakfast. We did scrambled egg tacos. So I scrambled the eggs and then I also fried up some prosciutto and chorizo. He had the on cassava wraps so we did eggs the fried up meat and then homemade pickled onions we always have a jar in our fridge they're good with literally anything he added some hot sauce and some salsa to that he had about six of those and then i made him a cup of rooibos tea with milk and sugar if you know you know it's so good the best combination and then for lunch i knew we were gonna have fish so i made a miso marinade to go with my black cod i put that in the fridge until lunchtime once lunchtime rolled around, I put it on a baking sheet and put it in the oven. One of Lucky's favorite vegetables are shishito peppers. Regardless of what restaurant we go to, if they're on the menu, he has to get them. So I decided to make some for lunch. 
I added those to some ponzu sauce. So he had some white rice, shishito peppers with ponzu sauce, and some black miso cod. We don't have a lot of fish in our house, so I'm trying to change that, and this recipe was so good. Combination of miso and fish is just so elite. Then I obviously had to taste test his food, make sure it was all good. Add another plate of shishito peppers and rice after that. It was so gloomy outside and kind of cold, so I wanted something comforting for dinner. I made some Brussels sprouts, finely chopped up some potato, got that in the oven, and then made some chicken. While that chicken was finishing off in the oven, I made Lucky open me some white wine. It is so hard getting white wine open. We also don't drink in our house, we just use it for cooking. I chopped up a bunch of different herbs super finely and then once the chicken was done in the oven, I got it out, let it rest, and started my sauce. I added a knob of butter, some shallots, then my thinly sliced mushrooms. I lucky snacked on some pickles. I deglazed with some white wine and added some of my chicken stock I made the other day. Put some heavy cream Dijon in that and my herbs. I usually use creme fraiche but we didn't have that today. Got it all on a plate, topped it with the sauce, and there we go. Lucky doesn't love mushrooms so I left them pretty big so he could just take them out. I made myself some mashed potatoes instead of diced up potatoes and this is our dinner. We just got Postmates. We decided what we wanted and then I was watching a video on TikTok and these people were eating wings so we had to get wings. So we got wings up. So Lucky got fries and I got some bone in just lemon pepper wings kind of those but this is what i do this is what we both have been doing we get our wings lemon pepper so they're really crispy and not soggy and then we get original hot on the side i also want to try their <laughs> i want to try their mango habanero sauce we can't forget about ranch we don't have ranch in germany i'm obsessed with it it's so good but lemon pepper wings as well but you get boneless wings. Boneless because I don't want wing hands. And then we got ramen. Well, I got ramen. So, are you intrigued to how it looks? Yeah, I'm gonna see how you, what it looks like. It says, oh, okay. Seaweed salad. Seaweed salad. Okay. Spicy tonkatsu. So, this doesn't look like a lot of broth, you guys. Halfway filled. That's not a lot of broth, but okay. That's fine, we'll make it work. Spicy sauce. Just in case I need it spicier, because you never know. I selected spicy on the list. You never truly know how spicy it is. Let's see. Looks pretty good. So I got spicy tonkatsu, and it comes with noodles, and then I got extra ground spicy pork. I don't like fatty I meats. Ramen would come with noodles. <laughs> You're hilarious. <laughs> They're skimping on me. <laughs> so here are our wings. This is our host friend. Look at yours. I know. Season. Look at that. Wow. Look at mine. Where's the seasoning? Yeah. Where's the flavor? Oh yeah, the 32 ounce Fanta. Yep. Lucky always gets the largest size of Fanta or drinks, but he never actually finishes no, them. No, this is actually what happens. Nara will get like an eight ounce drink, <laughs> the smallest you can get, and she'll drink all of my drink. She'll be like, no, you should get a smaller one, honey. And then she'll just drink it all. Seven. So I dip in hot sauce. I dip in ranch. With the double order. It's kind of an odd combo. Chicken wings and seaweed salad. Yeah. Okay, I'm the most excited about my ramen. How's your food? Real good.